scribble. Hey guys, it's Jess and Daddy Don. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you are new, hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become part of the Worldwide Fam. And without further ado, let's skiddly diddly do. I'm doing my intro in one take. Oh, who am I? Who am I? So today I'm bringing you mm, via Style Korean. Shout out to my Style Korean Try Me Review Me team. I am horrible with names, so I'm addressing you as a unit. But shout out to Style Koreans Try Me Review Me team. Your guys' marketing team is Chef Kiss. Love you guys. When I tell you, I've done quite a few affiliate programs and I'm gonna do a separate video on Style Korean to try me review me program because I thoroughly enjoy it. 100% would recommend out of all the companies I've worked with, they're my absolute favorite. But that's not why we're here today, okay? So we're here today to talk about Benton's. Eye care products. So we have four products we're gonna be talking about today. I don't wanna make this super long. One, because I'm filming this super late. <laughs> Procrastination station, boop, boop. Toot, toot. Trains don't go boop, boop. So everything in this collection is made for the eyes and kind of the face. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So your girl's 31, okay? And that means my eyes look tired. And that's because I get exactly four hours of sleep at any given moment. So being in your 30s um, is exactly what everyone says it is. You know, I woke up, my back hurt, never stopped hurting. It really is the gift that keeps on giving. But most importantly, my eyes have definitely uh, been showing my age. I used to get mistaken for 18. Now I get mistaken for like 27 which is still not 31. Boop, boop, wouldn't much prefer. 18. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about four of Ben Tin's eye products. By the way, of Style Korean, shout out to y'all. The Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream, the Benton Mineral Sun Cream, the Snail Bee Ultimate Hydrogel Eye Patch, and the Benton Honest Eyelash Serum. So Benton is a brand that I've known for a long time. I've been into K-Beauty since like 2014. Oh my God, oh my God, eight years, hello. So I've been into K-Beauty for about eight years and Benton was one of the first brands brands that I've heard of. Not my cat peeing the absolute loudest she can during my video, hello? All right, we're done. So if you are familiar with Benton's Aloe Soothing Gel, I believe it's called, that was a really popular product that was marketed a long time ago. Um, it was like a lot of people's introduction to K-Beauty, not her crunching, her dinner. Okay, you know what? If you hear it, it's there, okay? Got three cats, they're gonna do something. I'm gonna talk about these products in order of how I rank them. Some of these products I really like, some of these products, not so much. How do I wanna start? Do I wanna start like most liked, least liked? You know, we're gonna start off with least liked, okay? Cause I want you guys to be like, oh my God, why do you like that one so much? And then you gotta stay, and then you gotta watch the whole thing. You know what, no chapters for you. I'm taking all the chapters out. You can't skip nowhere. I'm kidding, I'm gonna put chapters in. So, my least liked. And let me just start off with saying, um, I'm not tanned. I am naturally melanated by the gods. And uh, for obvious reasons, this is my least favorite product out of the four that I received. And it is this one here, the Benton Skin Fit Mineral Sun Cream. For those of you not familiar, and listen, I'm. let me just start off by saying I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a skincare professional, okay? This is what I know from what I use. If you're unfamiliar with mineral or like physical sunscreens, so basically the filter in this one is zinc oxide, and zinc oxide basically is like a broad spectrum sunscreen filter and it actually reflects sunlight, right? Main difference, and please don't drag me if I say this wrong, just kindly, you know, put in the comments that I was wrong. It's okay, I don't mind being wrong. So physical sunscreen reflects the sun's rays and then uh, chemical sunscreen absorbs it, right? So they use two different ways of giving you sun protection. Mineral or physical sunscreen tends to be uh, whiter, have a white cast. So especially for melanated babies, you might hear like melanin friendly or dark skin friendly or no white cast. It's basically anything that doesn't make it like caps, cap, capster. 
I have a lisp and I talk fast and it is a horrible combination. So this does contain rosemary essential oil. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it has to do anything with how it helps the sunscreen work. So this has witch hazel extract, which is supposed to help with suppleness. Um, I know people use it to like absorb oil and to help with excess like oiliness in the skin. People use it as a toner here in the States. We have so many great options for great toners, whether you want hydrating, exfoliating, whatever, that I'm not sure why people still use witch hazel as a toner, but you know, to each his own. Some people it works for you, great, whatever. I don't care if you like it, I love it. This also has Centella Asiatica, which is great for people who have like problematic skin or uh, skin that is like easily irritated. It's a really great product to help kind of like calm the skin down. Obviously there's zinc oxide. So that is the broad spectrum UV filter that is in this this sunscreen in particular. And then it has, I don't know how to pronounce this, calamine, calamine. You know that stuff that's in that stuff you put on your chicken pots and it's like real pink and powdery. So when I was reading uh, the description on the website, this said this had a natural tone up effect. Um, so in Asian skincare, if you're not familiar, tone up usually means that it like brightens the skin naturally. Um, that is great if you are lighter skin than me. But unfortunately for people um, like me, even a little bit lighter than me and definitely darker than me, um, that doesn't work. It just gives you that really awful white cast look. I've actually been sent a couple of sunscreens by um, Style Korean, which unfortunately I will never be able to use um, because I'm not lighter than I am. No in-depth review for this. Um, I tried it once and that was enough for me. There's like an acceptable level of white cast I'll take. And that's usually like, oh, it's a little white cast now. It absorbs kind of like in 20, 30 minutes or so, but. Um... So next up is the Benton Honest Eyelash Serum. And I don't dislike this serum at all. Um, it didn't really give me any issues. The only thing is something like this requires more than two weeks to test out, unfortunately. If you do want to see um, like more before and afters or uh, a little bit more of an in-depth review, that's going to be coming up soon. Make sure to follow my Instagram Boop! right over here uh, at just as a thing. Because skincare changes obviously don't happen overnight. Um, I'm not going to be able to like explain or show any real long-term effects for me. Um, because these things do take more than a couple of weeks to work. But for the eyelash serum, I do have to say, I really did enjoy using it. It has two little like brush effects, tips. Are you gonna... I think it splashed in my mouth. So the really cool thing about this uh, serum is it has a regular brush tip. So it's like a little mascara wand, but on the end, there's like a little ball. And the little ball at the end is to help you get smaller lashes or like bottom lashes. So obviously the brush is a little bit large. You don't want to get this in your eye. And if you have that large brush too close to your eye to try to coat those lashes, obviously, Probably not your, you know, your best look. So it has that little ball on the end that's saturated with product and you kind of just wipe it back and forth along those lashes and then it helps you put it on. I don't know any uh, fancy way to say that. You put it on your eyelashes. I'm still waiting for the effects of this. Um, I just got my lash extensions removed probably two weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. And my lashes definitely do look a little bit longer. I have this one unnaturally long eyelash. It always grows in much longer than the rest. And even though I cut it down so it's even, it just grows back really long. But that one little eyelash is doing its thing and this is definitely not helping it be less long, so. Next up is the Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream. Snail secretion filtrate and bee venom were actually like two of the first real K-beauty ingredients I've tried. Anything with snail in it, I believe used to like clog my, my pores a lot. Like I would get um, close comedones anywhere that I would use it basically. And close comedones take a hot minute to leave. Snail just wasn't for me. I was like, maybe this is not it, it's fine. You know, there's thousands of other things I can put on my face. And then the same thing with like bee products. So anything with propolis would like break me out. So I've stayed away from both snail and bee products for a long time. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit afraid when I tried the Snail Bee Eye Cream. I can't 100% for a fact 
say that this product has broken me out, but I have seen an increase in like whiteheads. So usually it's with purging, but right now uh, my exfoliation schedule is like on pause, but I've been focusing on hydration um, and I have been adding more hydrating products. Do I test all my products in a two week cycle? Absolutely not. But have I been using this uh, Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream pretty consistently? Yes. So I've been noticing like around this area and around here, cause when I apply my eye cream, I put it under my eye. I don't put it like super close under, but I put it around this area, around this bone and I do go up around and then I put it on the uh, upper lids this the fatty part not the actual lid but the you know what i mean and this is kind of where i'm seeing a little bit of those breakouts so i don't want to knock this for everyone else because like i said um i've already had not the best experience with snail or bee products but i also had the absolute worst routine so i really don't know what caused it what the issue was but i think i'm just gonna have to pass on bee products or propolis products in the future as far as the actual eye cream itself, it is a little bit too light for my liking, but I also have dehydrated skin. So if you've ever been on um, literally any of my intellectual properties, um, I talk about my skin, it's very dehydrated, even though I live in a humid climate, for some reason, my skin did also not get the memo. So I actually prefer a little bit heavier of a cream. I like to layer super thick moisturizers, eye creams, et cetera, et cetera, at night. But yeah, I just, mm. I don't like the eye cream enough for me to continue using it. I know it's dumb, but if like, if I have like a really, really good positive effect and I have like a, like a, like a baby negative effect, it's fine. But I just don't feel like the eye cream is good enough for me to like sustain these, these little white heads. So unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of the eye cream. Um, I have a few others that I really like. Um, if you want a post on that on Instagram, which if you missed it, you can follow me here, boom. I'll go ahead and give you those recommendations. Actually, you know what? I don't need your recommendations. I'm gonna do it anyway. If I use an eye cream, it's definitely, I would not repurchase that one. Last but not least, once again, could also be causing these issues, is the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Hydro Gel Eye Patch. This product I was not super excited about for quite a few reasons. One, Snail and Bee, which, don't work for me. Two, hydrogels, me, I just don't like. I, you know, I made the joke about like, some people don't like the wet on their face. And I know sheet masks are things that like, people aren't really super into one because, you know, some people are just like, I don't like the wet on my face. And that's fine, you know, I do. But for some reason, hydrogels just feel icky to me. Like they're not just wet, you know, like cotton, wet cotton is like, in theory sounds wild. Ew, okay, when I say it out loud, I don't like it. But hydrogels are like real slimy and then like thick. Oh God, <laughs> that was genuine. <laughs> And hydrogels have like a history for me of just sliding down my face. And then I spend most of the time just like doing this. And if you ever wore a hydrogel eye patch or even a hydrogel mask, like especially the two part ones, you know what I'm saying, where you just have to constantly slide it up. I don't wanna do all that work. I don't wanna have to lay down to put an eye patch on. Like I'm gonna get up and go kind of girl. You know what I mean? If I'm sheet masking, it's probably cause I got company over. I sheet mask with company over. I don't wanna hear it. Or I'm like playing my 800th game of Klondike Solitaire. Shout out to the Microsoft Solitaire collection. I see you. So I'm, I'm upright. I don't like do skincare and lay down. I also have ADHD. The thought of me laying down for absolutely no reason, like pertaining to sleep, is just weird to me. Now, as far as the serum essence is concerned, y'all know I like me like a kind of like a watery light essence. And this actually provides that. Usually when I try stuff in hydrogels, it's like slimy. I don't know how to explain it. It's just weird and slimy. And then when you take it off, it, it's also still slimy and you pat it in, it's still slimy. Because I use the eye cream and then I put the, cause it's, it's very light. Um, I put the hydrogel eye patches over them. I think just a combination of those two things with both ingredients that I can't really use don't really work for me. Now, as far as like the actual hydrogels themselves, I really like them. Um, when it absorbs into your skin, you can tell it, it kind of gets flat. I do feel like my eyes or my under eye, not my eyes, do not put hydrogels in your eyes, but I feel like my under eye area does feel a little bit more hydrated. Um, it's not super plump. It doesn't feel like 
you know, like it drank a bunch of water and filled up, but it does feel like the product is actually absorbing into my skin and making a difference. And it does look a little bit brighter. Again, unfortunately, because I believe that these snail bee products are contributing to the whiteheads because they're only in this area, I might use them up and then kind of let them go because now I'm home and I'm going to be going back on my tretinoin and it'll kind of help with the whiteheads. Um, I might be able to get away with it, but I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. If Benton had a different product or, well, obviously, but a different ingredient in their hydrogels, I'd be super excited to try that because I actually really, really do like these. And I do like the idea of multi-pack masks or eye masks, you know, under eye masks, sheet masks, whatever. For some reason, I haven't seen multi-pack cotton sheet masks for under eyes. I think it's just because it would be almost impossible to separate them. That would be crazy. Wow, that would, it would be really hard to separate them. I've only ever seen these containers that have uh, 60 patches or like 30 sets um, in hydrogel form, which is fine. Um, but yeah, again, snail bee just don't work for me. So the eye patches themselves actually have gold, diamond, pearl, and charcoal powders in them, which is really cool. If you look really closely at the eye patches in the light, you can actually see like flecks of like gold and kind of like a pearlescent color. And it's, it's really cool. So if for nothing else, you know, maybe you're just a, and that's what you like. So that's it. That's how I feel about these products in general. Like I said, eye products take a long time to see uh, noticeable changes. I have like hereditary lines, wrinkles under my eyes. They're not like wrinkles that develop with age or over time. I've had them since I was a kid. My brother's had them, my mom has them. I mean, when I do hydrate and plump up my skin, drink enough water, et cetera, et cetera, go to bed at a decent time, they do look better, but they're never gone. So I don't want anyone to have unrealistic expectations about using any of these products and thinking that you're just gonna wake up one day and look like you're 12. That's not how this works. There's always that debate on whether eye creams are necessary or not, and they're 100% not. It's just another skincare product that you can use. But the difference between a regular moisturizer and an under eye cream is typically they're formulated for the under eyes. I don't know, I'm not a cosmetic chemist. I can't prove that. From what I'm told, they're formulated for the under eye area or they target that specific skin because the skin underneath your eyes is a little bit thinner. It's a little bit more sensitive. Stop going off during my video. You don't even have any spray in you and you're rude. So personally, like I said, as I'm getting older and my eye area is getting a little drier and I wanna help, you know, prevent those wrinkles because your girl's still looking a little snatched. I personally love an eye cream. Again, I will show you some of my product recommendations, some that I'm loving right now over on my Instagram. Boop. So that's it guys. If you have any questions about any of these products or you're like, hey, where can I get them things? Don't forget to hit, we're not there yet, just relax. Don't forget to leave a comment below. I mean, obviously I don't care if you like this or not, it's not gonna work for me. Let me know if you've ever used any of these products and how they fared for you. I'm actually really interested in this one, this eyelash serum. I don't know, I feel like eyelash serums are kind of gimmicky, but um, I feel like there has to be something to them, right? Like everybody can't just be selling these and they do absolutely nothing. Actually, no, you, you absolutely can. But anyways, I've talked long enough and I'm gonna spend the entire night editing this video if I don't get off. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become part of with my fam. And if you like this video, don't forget to give that like button a tap on the tush. And I will see you guys somewhere out there in the world or in my next video. It's time to jump.